Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys as always. Today I have a treat for you guys and that is going to be another base design. That's right guys, this is my Whirlpool base. I just came up with it on Clash of Clans Builder. I'm excited about it. I think that it's going to work really, really well and I'm really, really excited to see... Um, again how well it works as you can see up here at the top left and right this is why I call it the whirlpool base because it does have those swirls um, with the traps and then which are really really going to mess up giants if anyone tries to put any sort of giant up there in the top of the base so this is a trophy base guys so the first thing we're gonna do obviously is bring that town hall right here in the center and then we're gonna grab our most important defenses the mortar um, it is either these or the wizards that are my favorite they do um, they both do splash damage, so I really, really, um, value them the most, obviously, but they both do different things. The wizards work really, really well against any sort of, um, mass troop like, um, like goblins or anything like that. So that is why I really, really like them. So we're going to go ahead and put those guys in here as well. As you can see, it's kind of in a triangle, um, position where their rings overlap as well as these mortars cover practically the entire base. Actually, they do cover the entire base. So that is why they are centralized and most important. Next, we're going to take our air defenses and we're going to put those in here as well because those are very, very important. Um, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I really, really love the giant healer strategy and I pass on a base if it has very well protected air defenses because I just can't do anything about it, especially since I'm using army spots for those healers. I'm not going to risk... Um, I'm not going to risk an attack and risk most of my giants dialing, <laughs> dialing, whoops, dying while I wait on them to get to the air defenses. So that is why I am protecting those as much as I am. Um, in this base, since I am mainly going for trophies, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be protecting my um, resources as much. So as you can see, I'm going to put my elixir, which is the least important of all my resources right outside on the edge because again it is the least important of all of my ref my resources to me so it is going out on the side um, so that my gold can be closer in the center um, and a little bit more protected than that um, next we're going to bring the clan castle in I'm going to centralize it as much as possible my troops can still be drawn out um, but not without getting fire from my archer towers right here so um, I'm, I'm not too upset about it I think that it's still going to work very very well um, and yeah I'm looking forward to this base and seeing how it works obviously we're going to take this right here and you know what? we're actually going to shoot sorry guys let me check this out real quick I'm trying to figure out where you know I'm just gonna put that other gold right in there um, it's a little bit exposed, but again, that is not the whole purpose of this base. The purpose of this base is getting trophies. Um, I've been struggling a little bit with going after trophies. Really what I've been doing is chasing gold because it's just so addictive, so I haven't been able to um, protect my... I haven't been able to get as many resources because I have been searching after that gold. But anyways, let's keep on with this base build. As you can see, I'm putting these archers up here. And if someone drops a giant right here on the edge, they're going to walk all the way around this little corridor and get hit by every single one of those traps on the way to the archers. Um, so if anybody does decide to attack up there, they're definitely going to regret it because they're going to lose every single one of those giants. As you can see, this cannon is here as well. Um, so people are going to be attacking the cannon if someone drops giants they're going to die by that and they're going to work their way over to the out to the archer tower all the while getting shot at and getting sprung by spring chaps so um, i'm really excited to see how this works against giants that is the main purpose of it is it being a giant base um i'm also going to drop my barbarian king here in the back so that he can't really be drawn out um this way if anyone drops uh, they're not going to be able to draw him out to the edge without getting fire from this cannon, which covers that entire range, as well as this archer tower and this archer tower. So that is why I'm putting my Barbarian King at the back, so that he doesn't get drawn out too easily. Um, next, we are going to... It looks like all of my defenses are in there, um, as are the traps and the bombs. I put my bombs right there in front of this elixir collector, and right here in front of this gold storage, um, just so that when people come to attack those they are going to their goblins um, are going to get annihilated by those bombs uh, next let's just continue 
uh, putting these camps around, we're going to try and cover as much wall as possible because that way it takes wall breakers a lot longer to actually get in to um, the walls. They have to run around everything. So we're going to go ahead and put those right there. We're going to bring this army camp in and this army camp in at the same time. And then we're just going to fill in. I'm going to put two of my barracks up here because that way now that you can scroll through your barracks with the second to last update, um, they don't all need to be next to each other like they used to. So now we're just going to we're just going to space out everything evenly. Um, I actually want to have my spell factory down here so that I can remember because so often I forget to uh, <clears throat> to build my spells. And with it down there next to my uh, barracks, I will actually remember <laughs> instead of forgetting about it every single time like I do. So let's go ahead and continue building around. Um, and yeah, the reason that I'm putting my base up in the top left corner is because that way people can't control um, the rate that their troops progress on the base as much as they can from the bottom side. Uh, what I mean by that is people can't lay down giants and then wait a couple seconds and lay down wall breakers so that they get to the wall at the exact same time. I know that I do that often, so this way I am preventing people from doing that. You know what, let's see if this can fit up here. It can't. So we're going to bring that right down there. And guys, that about does it for this base design. I'm definitely excited to see how it works. Um, I really, really want to see how well these traps work up at the top. I think that it's going to be hilarious, and I'm definitely going to make some videos on spring traps and how effective they are on this base. But anyways, guys, with this clan castle, I mean with this, <laughs> sorry, town hall centralized and my Teslas in there, we are definitely going to prevent against a three star hopefully and the teslas are going to do work against any kind of pekka that comes against me so that is why they are centralized right here in the center um but anyways guys that is the base design that i am calling the whirlpool base if you want to duplicate it go ahead i will let you guys know how it works for me i'm definitely excited to see how it works um, and yeah, guys, keep calm and clash on as always. I hope you guys like this base design. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, um, and yeah, keep on doing what you're doing, guys. I'll see you later. Peace.